Hi, my name is Isaiah Russell Bailey. I play Caleb in Disney's Crater, and this is Young Entertainment. I'm just very excited for people to see the amount of work that went into this film. Everybody did an amazing job. Everybody killed their roles. The VFX looks incredible. The sets look great. The costumes are just immaculate chef's kits. So I, I'm just excited for people to see what um, uh, the movie is about. I'm excited for people to, um, you know, tell me what they think about the movie. I think people are really going to love. My character is Caleb and um, Caleb's role in this film is kind of like the glue that keeps his friends together through thick and thin. He always finds a way to lift up his friends when they're feeling down. He's proven himself to be the person they can lean on or a shoulder to cry on if they need to do so. Um, to prepare for being in space, there were six weeks of prep for spacesuit fittings, harness training, and, and stunt training. For four weeks, we worked with the incredible team at Legacy Studios to help build our spacesuits and make sure they look like and fit like real, you know, functional spacesuits that can help us get around the moon with ease, which was really cool. I was actually one of the uh, first to wear the finished spacesuit, so that's a, a, a nice fun fact. But I remember when I put it on, I felt like a, a real astronaut and I was just ready to take on the moon. And then we worked with uh, Mr. Dave McCumber and his amazing stunt team for the last two weeks to make sure the low gravity and the spacewalk looked as realistic as possible. And, you know, I feel like that was a mission accomplished. Everything looked amazing. I felt like a real astronaut. I, When I was younger, I wanted to be an astronaut or a, a spaceship engineer. So putting on the spacesuit really was kind of like a, a childhood dream come true. It was a really amazing experience. Hey, Luke, is my first lead role. And to be completely honest, I am still trying to process it. Uh, the responsibility of leading a film can, you know, be very stressful and, and kind of intimidating. But luckily, I had people around me who gave me advice and helped me get through the imposter syndrome that I was feeling. But what I learned was you have to, you know, do the research and, you know, be prepared because the work that you put in will pay off when everything is said and done at the end of the day. Yes, I did watch Stand By Me to prepare. Uh, I would say I relate a lot to River Phoenix's character. Like with my close friends, I would say I'm the one they come to for advice or uh, when they need to just vent to someone. I'm also the one that always, you know, pushes my friends to uh, do something that will benefit them in the best way because, you know, I don't want them to regret it later on. Kind of like how Chris Chambers was pushing Will Wheaton's character, Gordy, to live his life outside of his friend group and not just rely on them all. But yeah, I relate to River Phoenix's character, Chris, the most. There is a bit of Isaiah in Caleb uh, in that he and I, we're both raised by single parents. I was raised by my mom. Caleb was raised by his father, although the circumstances are, are quite different. I've never, you know, dealt with the loss of a family member. But um, also, we both have close uh, friend groups that we are ride or die for. Um, we like to make others feel understood and heard, no matter what the circumstances. And I feel like that's why our friendships have lasted so long and you know gone on so strong for you know the years that um well, throughout the years acting opposite uh mr scott was great we um we're, we're kind of the same when it comes to uh filming scenes we you know rehearse before takes we um uh we like to stay in character during our breaks um, he and I also um, share a love of music and music production. Uh, I think he's an amazing artist. Like I always say, I still have day and night on repeat, still in my playlist. Uh, we bond over uh, the love of music production as well. I make beats on my phone and my computer. Um, he would give me his thoughts on my beats and most of them he actually really did like. So that meant a lot coming from him. It was 
really fun to work with someone who had another common interest that wasn't just acting. I would say working with uh, uh, um, Dave McCumber and his stunt team was one of my favorite moments um, while we were on set. While we prepped for uh, filming and practiced some of the stunts, he would let us play around on the harness and uh, you know try to figure out how our spacewalk was going to look. Also, I do parkour and tricking, so he would allow me to you know practice some of my flips on the mats while we were um, while we were prepping because he knew that I wouldn't be able to do that while we were shooting. And um, hanging outside of set was fun as well. We took a lot of journeys around um, Louisiana. We uh, did swamp tours. We ate so much food. Uh, we played paintball all the time. We went swimming at our apartment complex that we were staying in. Um, you know, not gonna lie, I do have a feeling that we got on our neighbor's nerves because we were very loud almost every day, but we had loads of fun. I would, I would. I've always had a fascination with the, uh, the solar system as a kid. And I know a lot of kids say that, you know, they wanted to be an astronaut at one point. I wanted to be an astronaut or a spaceship engineer, as I say, when I was younger. But um, yeah, if I had the chance to go to outer space, I totally would. I wouldn't really use the word troublemaker to describe it, but if we're saying troublemaker in terms of jokester, then I would definitely say it's Thomas. He'd be cracking jokes on set and would just make everybody laugh. His sarcastic, dry wit is just hilarious. And he also does really good impressions. I remember one time he did a very accurate impression of Mickey Mouse. So I was I was pretty impressed. Yeah, I would definitely say Thomas is the comedian out of the bunch. No, I cannot. I am not giving anything away, but nice try though. Film and, and, and TV are, are always going to be pretty different. Like when you're on TV, you have the time to grow with your character. Um, with film, you don't, you know, you don't always have that kind of time. For example, with uh, um, the show I was on Family Reunion, I started the show at 12 and ended at 16. So I had four years to grow with Shaka and, you know, kind of um, change over time with that character. Working on Family Reunion was an incredible experience, uh, a very fun experience. It was my first lead role in a TV show, and it basically gave me my start in this business in a way. Without Shaka and Family Reunion, I don't think I would be where I am today. So I'm very grateful for the opportunity to play Shaka, and I, I do miss playing him. I hold that character close to my heart. I was mainly inspired by my mom. I've grown up around the entertainment industry because of her. She's an actress as well. Um, you know, being around another actor and other people in the entertainment industry and just watching my mom perform really inspired me to pursue acting as a career. I can't really say one, so I'll, I'll just give you a few. There's, there's the, the late Chadwick Boseman, um, Michael B. Jordan, and Denzel. And I love them because, you know, not only are they amazing at their craft, uh, they work behind the camera as well, which is something that I want to do. They all direct and produce. And, you know, that's what inspired me to start my own uh, production company, IB Entertainment. Uh, fun fact. They allowed me to operate the camera for one of the scenes um, that we shot for Crater, which was, you know, really special for me. It was um, uh, a really cool experience. I've always had a dream to be in a Marvel movie or just be a superhero in general. But my, my one of my goals is to play Miles Morales in uh, uh, the live action version of um, the Spider-Man movies. Uh, I've always loved Miles Morales. I think he's one of the best um, spider characters in the um, Marvel Universe. And then also there, there are multiple shows that um, I could say I would guest star on. But right now, I never miss an episode of Abbott Elementary. Um, they touch on really important topics uh, in the world, but through comedy. So it's, it's, it's kind of a, a really cool, you know, vibe and uh, um, feel for the show. And then I'm a big fan of Quinta. She directs, produces, and writes her own show and stars in her own show, which is definitely a, a goal for me. I love Abbott Elementary. All right.